Welcome to Drinks and Chill. My name is Jill. This is Matt, and today we are drinking cups. Yes, we're just we're gonna drink these. Everyone needs air. No, seriously, what are we drinking? A. 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 Drinking Canadians. A. Okay. This is gonna be part of our 2022 whiskey challenge. Okay. We're doing a the Whiskey Dictionary's 2022 Whiskey Challenge. We're supposed to try 10 different whiskeys, but mm -hmm. we decided we're gonna try 10 different whiskeys from 10 different countries. countries. So this time we're trying a whiskey from Canada, eh? Canada. This is actually a very nice box. It has a picture of um, two barrels here. A couple of descriptions here, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. So this is Alberta Premium, Yeah. which I've never even came across or even heard of. Depending on where you are in the world, can be difficult to get. I hadn't mm -hmm. seen this one Oh, that's a nice spot. For a while, and then all of a sudden it just starts popping up in stores. And I, I feel like every time I go to the store now, I see it. This is a Canadian rye whiskey. It's cask strength. As you can see, it's still sealed, so I haven't even tried it yet. It is allocated in some spots, so it can be hard to find, just depending on where you are. But I've heard really good things about this one. If you remember back when we first started this channel, before we were drinks and chill, we tried some Canadian whiskeys. Yep. We tried the Canadian Mist, the Canadian Club, the Rich and Rare, and uh, they sucked. Yeah, they weren't that, they weren't that, that pleasant. So I'm Canadian. hoping that this one will redeem Canadian whiskey for us. Was that the one where one of them tastes like birthday cake? No, that was rum. We'll put a link to that video in the description. That's one of our old videos. That was the first tasting video that we ever did, actually. Yeah. It was that spiced rum video. Don't look at that video. No, <laughs> look at that video. That was a fun video. <laughs> It was before we were in this room and we were using like a lower quality camera. Yeah. So right. $65 bottle of whiskey and it's a screw cap. So for Canadian whiskeys that I've tried, $65 is pretty up there. Yeah, most of the ones we've tried are more around like the eight, ten dollar oh range. <laughs> Except Crown Royal, which is around the $20 range. Yeah. I mean, as far but, as- But they put a lot of effort in the box and the actual bottle itself. Mm -hmm. There's like- It's a nice bottle. Squares and diamonds on it. It's 63.7% alcohol by volume. Cheers. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get past the sharpness here. Yeah, it's really sharp on the this, on this smell. But I like what I'm getting though, like flavor or scent wise. Oh, um, you got scent out of it? Okay, let me keep trying. Hold on, I'm gonna do the Garrison Brothers thing where I inhale through my mouth. <laughs> Very perfumey. I'm getting that fresh cut grass thing again. I feel like I get that a lot with rice. So I'm getting a lot. I don't so, know what smelling the water will do. <laughs> is it? <laughs> so he's okay. Um, While well, he's smelling water, I'm trying to get past the sharpness. Mm -hmm. And pretty difficult to do on this one, but I am getting that perfumey floral. Okay, so it seems to die down a little bit, the sharpness. Cherry. Are you getting cherry? I'm getting cherry. I want to say something else, but that's just because I read it, and I don't want to say it because I read it. Well, go ahead and say it. I mean, if you're getting it, say it. Chocolate. Really? Yeah. Yeah, chocolate. That's the first time you would have said chocolate and it would have worked. <laughs> But after the sharpness dies down, and it seems like it has, mm -hmm. you're, you're getting a lot of flavor from it. Yeah, the, More smell flavor. Is, the smell is very pleasant once you get past that initial like alcoholness. I think this is one of the ones with water. I think it'll do very well, but we'll try it before water. Once I get past the alcohol, I really like the smell. Yeah, I do too. Honestly, this is almost great. I will give it a 5.8 for almost mm -hmm. great. Almost great. 5.8. Okay. I'm gonna do a 5.5. Just because that initial sharpness was very hard to overcome. If it wasn't for that sharpness, I, I would have gotten a lot higher. I feel like that's just sort of like part of a high... High proof. Yeah, because it's, it's well, 63.7 on the taste. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's super sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's super light, very, very light. And this is after doing a whole like seven seconds just resting on your tongue type thing. And yeah. you still get that sharpness. That floralness is still there on the taste. It might take me a minute to get past that sharpness on the taste too. Wow, this really scorched my tongue. Okay, Canada. Yeah, I thought Canada was supposed to be nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's flavor in there. Yeah, there definitely is. 
because I'm getting some vanilla in there, mm -hmm. which is actually very good vanilla. I'm getting a little hint of the chocolate on the flavor, a little hint of oak, not nearly as much as like a bourbon, but that may just be because it was most, I mean, I'm sure this was aged in Canada, Alberta. They can probably get away with aging their whiskeys a lot longer and not having as big much of an oak impact, so. Oh, because of the, the coolness up there? Mm -hmm. What I'm smelling, I'm tasting, which is very rare. Yeah. For me, in a way, so what we tried. That's very true. It's like the vanilla and the chocolate coming together. Mm -hmm. yeah, I actually really like the flavor once you get past that alcohol. Here, you want some water? Yeah. Or just a little bit in mine because I'm almost down to the bottom. You've... Nice. The chocolate comes through big yes. time. Wow. Like chocolate, cherry. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice. I'm getting that oak. The sweetness from the chocolate and vanilla is there. Mm -hmm. The sharpness is still there, but that sharpness is kind of muted. Yeah. A lot. And that's just with one drum. I mean, it's 127 proof. So, I mean, the water isn't going to bring the sharpness that much down, but it, it brings it to a point where it doesn't overtake. Yeah. Well, to me, that was a lot. Like, it's still there, but I mean, it's not like it's overbearing anymore. Mm -hmm. With that water nice sipping whiskey it really is like once you add the water to it this is something that you could just sort of really sit down and enjoy water two drops i would recommend mm -hmm. well for these little bitty glasses if you're giving yourself a full serving probably like five or six yeah add one or two and try it and then just keep adding more until you get to like your sweet spot you know i like that yeah canada you have redeemed yourself so on the bottle, it says exceptionally smooth with notes of caramel, vanilla, and a hint of chocolate. Bounds with the spiciness of rye and black currant. I don't even know what black currant, 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 currant. I don't know what that tastes like. I don't know either. I think the spiciness was there. I think that's that fresh cut grass thing I, I get whenever, I feel like I get that whenever I try a rye. I don't know about, about caramel. I mean, I'm sure it's there in some. See, I got the vanilla. And I got the chocolate. This is a hint of chocolate, but I feel like it's a lot more than a hint. Well, that's what I got. I got a hint of chocolate, but then when I added the water, it's when I got a lot more than a oh. hint. After I added the water, chocolate almost became like the dominant note. I got cherry as opposed to caramel. Not like black cherry, but like the, the cocktail cherries. And then they have the government warnings. Like don't drink this entire bottle at once or it'll get you in a certain kind of way. No, not exactly, but okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go with that. I feel like the water really brings it out. Part of me wonders, like, when I give it these ratings, like, should I include, like, my opinion after the water is added? Because that's adding something additional to the whiskey. But at the same time, like, a lot of people drink their whiskey with water added. I think I am going to take that into account with my rating. I think so, too. The rating, the, my taste rating is the same as my smell, 5.8. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with a six, actually. Really? I'm both. Yeah. I'm gonna up my smell after the drops. Yeah, because the smell and the taste were like... Pretty much neck and neck. Mm -hmm. Even the aftertaste, I'll go with a 2.3. It was pretty light, which meant it went away pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. There was just a barely a hint of oak there, but that's what lingers in the aftertaste for me is the oak. I'll give it a 2.1. The aftertaste, yeah. The box and the bottle are both very nice. I do like the the logo itself and then kind of like the mm -hmm. gold font. Yeah. I don't know about the label though. Like it's just, it, it almost looks like kind of like one of those generic like labels that you like print out to put like on a, a label maker type thing. Mm. The logo is very nice. Yeah. They did a lot with the box. It's embossed. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's just like a, a pasted there and they did it with a barrel. Also with this side, it's also on this side too. So mm -hmm. you can see it both sides. A little bit of a detail here. We use only the finest locally grown rye rains from Canada's heartland to produce the unique taste of Alberta premium and the cast strain for this very special release. Glacier born water, that's cool. The bottle itself is so nice and the box is so nice. I feel like the label is the only thing that keeps me from giving it a three. So I'm gonna give it a 2.5. I'm gonna parents. give it a 2.3. I would go a lot higher, but the reason why it stopped me is it's a plastic screw top. Mm. If it was a cork, I think 
I would have hit a 2.8, 2.9 on this one. I didn't even think about that. It is a plastic screw top. But I guess the fact that I didn't even think about that means that it didn't really bother me. Mm -hmm. So I guess, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the 2.5 because of the, cause just because of the very like generic label makery type looking label. With me, if it's a $65 bottle, cork top for that price it should be a cork top so we're adding alberta premium cask strength rye whiskey to our infinity bottle and we talked about this in the devil's river video as well how uh we've been like neglecting to add whiskeys to our infinity bottle in a few of them we're gonna have to go back and see which whiskeys we forgot to add and then just do like a little video or a short or something of us actually adding those whiskeys to the mm -hmm. infinity bottle so that is our review on Alberta Cast Strength Canadian Whiskey. Yep. If you'd like to see our other whiskey challenge videos, so I have a in the description below. Yeah, we'll put links to all of them in the description. Yep. This is number six out of 10. Yep. So any other countries you want us to try whiskeys on, if we can find them, we'll try them. Mm -hmm. Or even countries we already did, if there's different ones than we did on the videos. Yeah. Then we'll be more than happy to go over them. Yeah, we can just do other videos on those that aren't necessarily part of the challenge if we've already done that country. My name is Chew. This is Matt. And we're drinks and chill. Mm -hmm. We're drinks and chill. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post a video. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.